Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to the second part video of how to program drums in FL Studio. In the previous video, I showed you guys how to use the step sequencer and a bit of piano roll effects. We're still going to apply that, but this time with something called the FPC. So this is your regular MPC style setup, a um, whole bunch of different velocities per pad and a um, whole bunch of sounds per pad. Here we have our basic FPC layout, drums and whatnot. We also have a whole bunch of drum loops that I can get into in a bit. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to get around this as well as program using um, the piano roll. You can still program this FPC with a regular MIDI controller with a whole bunch of pads or some, some keys if you would. Right, so let's get on with it. I'm gonna go ahead in my browser and search for some mid school kind of drums. I feel like doing that classic 90s, 80s kind of uh, drum kit pattern and whatnot. So we're gonna go into my J Dilla kit, look for some kicks and a whole bunch of other instruments to sound replace. There we go. So I know the kick is right here, so we're gonna just go ahead and delete all of these kicks so there's no more sounds in there and go in there look for a snare go ahead delete these sounds drop them in here just drag and drop simple drag and drop look for a hi-hat delete these hi-hats because if I were to put another sound in this box while this sound was in here, we would be layering. For example, this tambourine sound, dropping it in here, we now have the original tambourine sound and the new one. And uh, it's a great way for making ear candy like so. Some sort of surround sound, left, right kind of uh, ear candy going on. Two different tambourine sounds continue our sound replacing. Let's get a full snare. Let's drop a lazy snare in there actually. Delete all of those. There we go. Let's drop in a, another snare. There we go. Delete all of these. Get some more hi hat sounds. No, I don't think there's any open hi hats. Nope. So let's just drop in some hi hats that we like. Take out that one and drop in. All right. So now our bottom half of our FPC is laid out with a J Dilla kit and the top section is our regular FPC sounding drums. So now when I show you some examples of you know some loops here everything is laid out correctly. Some break beats, let me lower that tempo so you can get a feel of the break beat. And before we even do anything with the loops uh, because this section and the preset section are very close together uh, we're gonna save this preset as um, let's say J, let's say Dandy, Dandy '90s kit, right? Because if we go ahead and change um, our preset with something else, and we forgot to save the one that we just did, we lost it like fully. So, it's one tip: save your sounds that you have laid out in your FPC. So, if in case you want to use these loops as an example to create you know a quick little song you don't accidentally hit this knob and you lost your sounds just like that so we can go back into our preset menu and just look for the exact sounds that we wanted so as you can see there's a whole bunch of loops here uh, some house loops you guys know me I love my house and I can just bring the tempo back up Alright, 
so now I'm going to show you guys the programming aspect of this since we've gone ahead and uh, sound replaced. So let's go into our piano roll here. And right now, let me just bring this to the 90s mark for BPM. And right now, if I go into my piano roll, you can see that we've already have some pre-made loops and grooves and whatnot. So let's go ahead and erase all of that. And let's lay down some drums. Set my snap to cell. Where's my lazy snare? There it is. Cut off that part so it loops properly. Continue putting some percussion and laying down our pattern that we enjoy. All right, continue that here. Let's actually take this, shift this all up. And now I'm just holding the shift button and using my keys up and down to find the hi-hat sound that I didn't like. And there we go, we have our little 90s drums happening. And of course, we can go ahead and change our velocities here. Change my kick hi hat velocities. And we can also change our snap here to half step. find some cool sounds and rhythms and, uh, you know just fool around and find a rhythm and groove that you like all right so that's basically how to lay down drums and do all that you know programming with that some other techniques that you can go ahead and do is uh, you know use the none snap selection here and uh, go ahead and just move everything slightly off so you get something lazy All right. just so you get a bit of a swing happening As well as your hi hats, everything sounds robotic. You can go ahead and just shift everything over slightly. Just sounds a little more natural that way. Especially the snares. And there you go. So, thanks for watching the second video of how to program drums in FL Studio 10 and in the next video I'm gonna show you guys something called addictive drums works exactly the same way as the FPC but now you have real sounding drums and it sounds like um, it sounds like a real drummer was playing the drum as you can hear back in time with some vintage years little sneak peek of how things or the next video is gonna sound
anyways guys thanks for watching this tutorial on how to program drums again and uh, i'll see you guys in the adaptive drums video thanks for watching